Good morning, everybody. James Hurst. Hey, it's so time zones, right? Not the most fun thing in the world. Uh, definitely not going away with the ever-growing Zoom-connected world we live in. So um, appointment reminders, right? It's really cool uh, how, you know, um, when they look at the calendar, it kind of shows up, it kind of defaults and grabs their time zone. Uh, time zone, I think time zones work pretty good. Uh, for me, though, I had uh, been, I hadn't been including the time zone in all of my um, appointment reminders. And I don't know how I missed it. And so I figured, hey, if I missed it, then I'm sure other people who who are even newer than I am, uh, probably maybe didn't know about this either or, or missed it as well. So basically, what I'm doing is going through all my appointment confirmation reminders, anywhere I mention the start time or the end time, I'm going to go ahead and add this little thing called the little time zone merge code. And it it's in, I've mentioned this one before, but basically if you search Google for custom values merge fields, there's a, a living document here of, of the different um, merge fields you can use. So for this one, it's gonna be appointment time zone and it's right there. But in fact, it's even easier than that because it's it's actually built in. Uh, so if you come in here, so I'm in a workflow, I'm, I went and found a, a step that had something to do with the time and an email or a text, right? So I'm gonna come in here, your appointment has been confirmed for start time. I'm gonna just gonna put a space after there, go up to custom values here, go to appointment and add time zone, okay? And maybe a period and save that, okay? So then I'm gonna go ahead and go through um, any of these other ones, I already did actually. I'm gonna go through and, and add time zone to every single place where it, where it makes sense to, okay? Now, what is so cool about this is that here, this is a text where I sent a text to myself. I said, I have my brother, Martin. He lives in Oregon in the Pacific uh, time zone, right? I'm in Mountain. And uh, so when he, when it, when it talks, to, when it sent it to me, it said 2.30 uh, Mountain Time or 2.15 Mountain Time, right? Now over here on Lead Connector, you can see my phone here uh, on the left. So I sent a text to him and notice what it says um 115 pdt and so that's that doing the work of putting that time zone thing in one time it sends it to it changes it for depending on who it's going to so i thought that was phenomenal i mean it's just like that's so cool it's like the, the tech candy uh stephanie dove blake calls some of my stuff the tech candy so uh it definitely is now i have one request for you as i was setting up an appointment with my buddy jeff mcgeary uh yesterday he was a little bit like, hey, what what um, what time zone is this? Because as soon as you go to the next page, there's no time zone. And it's just nice to just just before you make that appointment, right, to to want to confirm it. So I, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to go to the ideas board and I'm going to go ahead and um, make a little thing saying, hey, we would love to have time zones all the way through. OK, so let's go ahead and just just to clarify. So book an appointment, a calendar, right? We have time zone right here, America, Denver, MDT. You can pick your time zone. Hopefully it just auto populates. By the way, I love this, that it has this live view. So you can kind <clears> of <throat> see, okay, well, this is the time it is right now. And so you can kind of 351, 50, okay, that's definitely mine, right? Um, anyways, so here's great that you have the time zone. This is just a label, right? Uh, 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 once they, I think once they pick, this is the picker. That's the picker, that's great. But once they pick a date, I would love for a label to come through, just like this, 60 minutes. When I, it probably just deserves to go right after this, this date, right? Um, so that's my request for you guys. Just uh, There's gonna be a link in the description below to upvote this so we can get some eyes on it. It's just a label change should be really easy, high impact. Um, so then 2 p.m., see, they, 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 they add to it there, but we really, need the, we really need the time zone added to that as well. Just does, there's no reason not to, I don't think. So then select a time, and then the whole time the time zone's there. That way, through the whole entire process, the time zone's being reaffirmed, confirmed. So um, yeah, I hope that's helpful, guys. Appreciate you take the time. You can uh, create a, a canny account, ideas.gohighlevel.com. And it is so great that they they really do reference this. I've seen stuff get fixed that I put on here. Uh, they really do use this. It, it's really wonderful. Um, how much of a voice the consumer and the customers have uh, with High Level. That's that's one of the reasons I love them so much. So um, if you guys want to try a free trial of High Level, I have a link in the description below as well. And if you want to check out any of my other videos, there'll be some at the end here soon. So 
We'll see you guys soon in the next video. Hope you're doing well. I've got some other stuff planned. Um, so yeah, subscribe. I got some cool stuff coming down the pipe. So talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.